Welcome to Pur Purple Shirted Nerd Math Apps. Um, we're going to look at one of my favorites today. Um, it's just so useful from, from perhaps 7th grade all the way up, maybe even through college age math courses. Uh, many times we end up with needing to factor quadratic equations. And uh, as you will be able to see here in a moment, there's a little bit of lag time. Um, so sometimes I might be speaking a little bit ahead of of, of my entry here. Um, we're given a quadratic expression ax squared plus bx plus c and we're allowed to choose values for a, b, c. This is intended for you to enter integers. So when I select on a, as you'll see, I, my number pad comes up and let's just go ahead and put some in here. Let's go 3x squared minus 14x and plus Eight. Now we'll see what happens on this in test runs. When I hit the factor it button, as it's going through the factoring process, and I haven't hit it yet, um, the factor it button will turn blue and say factoring. Sometimes due to the lag that doesn't show. Uh, it'll probably show more when we do one that, that takes the a little bit more processing time, but I'm going to hit the button here. And didn't show blue. Uh, there was some lag, but you can see here we have this. Here we have this factored. So let's let's take a look at at uh, one that might be a little bit more involved. Not too bad, but that'd be very typical of factoring that would be done. Of course, the a coefficient could be one, but I'm going to keep with a little bit trickier factoring problems. I could have hit clear. Uh, and let's go six x squared plus eleven x. And let's go minus 10 and see if that factors. And sure enough, there we have our results. You can do a quick foil on that and check that. Okay, let's go with one with a little bit more processing time. Again, reminder, on the, on the factor it button, when I hit that, that will turn blue just to assure you that it's actually doing something. But this is due to the lag time right now. So... Let's go with one with a little more processing time. Um, 24x squared, let's go minus 39x, and let's go minus 18. And let's go ahead and factor that. And once again, the blue didn't show, but but it is there. But there's one that, you know, relatively modest numbers, but 24 and negative 18 as first and last uh, coefficients. There's an awful lot of possibilities here, and you, you may want to do a quick foil on that. Um, so next question you're probably asking is, what if we choose a prime? Will it identify this as prime? Well, I'm just going to go back in and change this negative 39 to negative 37. I believe that's going to be prime go into factoring that. There's the blue that shows. Um, didn't lag over. And it will tell us if it's prime. Clear button works. Allows you to start right back up. Uh, just a great, quick, very, very easy to use app. I, I think it, it maybe applies to, to more levels than any of the apps that we have created here. So hope that's something that's helpful for you in, in your decision whether this is an app that you want. And uh, please look at the other apps while you're here. Thank you very much.